We've got a preview of Monday Night Football. It's the game everyone's been waiting for. The Jaguars and Ravens. I think ESPN is pretty excited about getting this one on the slate. But the Ravens, one of the best teams in the league, should be fun to watch. Other than a week two slip up against the Titans, they've been dominant this year. But are they on the, in the same caliber as the New Englands and Green Bays, really able to possibly win a championship? Uh, not yet, but I think they have the potential to be. And if that offense gets in order, and they've got the weapons. I mean, they've got Torrey Smith deep now, and Ray Rice looks like an outstanding uh, you know, player in his prime right now. The offensive line's still coming together. If Joe Flacco's accurate, they could be up there because they've got the defense that can shut down those high-powered offenses. Yeah, there's no question. I think we've said it before. The Baltimore defense clearly ready, championship caliber. But is Joe Flacco ready to take that next step? I love Ray Rice. I like some of those weapons you talked about. But I think Flacco is probably the big question mark here. Yeah, I don't think he still has improved himself. We've been waiting a couple of years now. He's gotten off to a good start to his career, you know, first year making the playoffs. But still needs to prove he's an elite quarterback, I think, before people take them seriously. On the flip side of things, another quarterback that was, this one is a rookie starting like Flacco, just kind of thrown into the mix. Not the same success for Blaine Gabbert. Has he shown enough yet to know that he's definitely the guy in the future? I think you're still worried about the accuracy. He's still below five, uh, 50%. And, and the good news is he's not turning the ball over in a, at a very high rate or anything like that. It doesn't look too big for him. He's taken a lot of hits and he's hung in there. Steelers game was a good example of him giving them a chance to win week before, same thing. So uh, I, I've been moderately encouraged by what I've seen. It's so hard playing for a team and a coach, Jack Del Rio, who's on the hot seat. We don't know what the direction of this team is right now. Yeah, I think Gabbert's up against it right now. He doesn't really have a lot of weapons. Yeah. Like you said, I think the accuracy has been an issue. I think the footwork's a little bit of, of an issue, too. But he has flashed. I think he's shown enough of the reason that he was drafted so high and the reason that the Jaguars are so excited about him. I think it's a matter of getting some more pieces around him and letting him learn. I mean, I think getting out there against teams like the Ravens and the Steelers are only going to help him in yeah. the long run. And he's taken that beating and keeps on you know, going. Yeah, there's a bit of trial by fire at this point. He'll, have, he'll be under pressure this week for sure, like you talked about, that Ravens defense. They're a championship caliber defense. We'll see if the offense can come around. Does Gabbard have any chance against the Ravens? How how bad will it get? Uh, I think it could get a little bit ugly, honestly. I just, I don't know. Like you said, Del Rio's on the hot seat. No one knows what's going on in that town right now. Really, everything's in shambles. So I will be surprised if the Jaguars keep it close. They're normally a team that's looking for the extra attention. I feel like this is a Monday night where they'd rather maybe hide under a rock. Yeah, I mean, like you said, primetime game. This would normally be an opportunity for a team to celebrate itself, small market. Look, I think things are turning badly. They got one more game before the bye. I'm saying this might be Jack Del Rio's penultimate game. Got one more before he gets fired. I think their only hope is to have that defense try and keep a minute. They've played yeah. well at times this year. They hung with the Steelers. Not sure who's that was the Steelers doing in the Jaguars. Yeah. We'll see if they can do it against the Ravens. That's a preview of Monday Night Football for the best coverage of the league. Check us out, profootballweekly.com.